It's the Ticket Plug. We've been running an online ticket business for over a decade, and now we've created an easy way for you to do the same thing through our private ticket resale community. Joining our community will give you a way to flip your bread and generate profit income consistently. We provide you with all the tools, training, and resources needed to start your life-changing online ticket business. Zero experience needed. To join our ticket resale community, go to theTicketTrap.com. Again, go to theTicketTrap.com. That's theTicketTrap.com. Get Demi in the building. Demi? Hi, Terry. Can you hear me? You're very low, dear. Let's take those earphones off. Take your headsets off. What about now? Can you hear me? Much Much better? Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, dear. What city are you in? I'm in Arizona. Well, what you doing out there in Arizona? I'm just being worried about the the sound is a little janky again, dear. Uh oh. The sound is a little janky. Come on, Demi. Oh, Demi, where you at, dear? Unmute your microphone. There you go. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yes. I can hear you now. All right. So, what's on your mind, Demi? So I wanted to ask you, um, I've been following you, or I don't follow you, but I've been, you know, popping in your spaces um, a while now. I would say about a month now. Um, I was just wondering, um, a lot of the things that you talk about, um, I feel that is not important. Um, We should be talking about things that are going on right now. Um, We only have 35. Hold on, what's not important? As far as, you know, reparations, uh, Diddy, you know, things that don't matter. Well, if people call up. I'm not going to tell them what they're not, what they're asking me isn't important. If people call up and say, ask me a question about Diddy, I'll give them an answer. If people call up and ask about reparations, I'll give them an answer. So I, you, I, I don't, you shouldn't dismiss the callers. Who's I'm calling. not dismissing anyone. I'm saying as far as, you know, you using your platform, you know, you have a lot of people that follow you and you know, pop in and listen to your spaces, you know, things like that. And I feel you should be using your space, you know, to really talk about things that are going on. Now, I know you stated that you wanted to do a meeting or hopefully. That's what we're doing, ma'am. We're, we're people calling up and we're talking about topical things. So again, you're dismissing the callers because they're bringing up random topics this is the tap in. People can call up and talk about anything they would like to discuss. You know, I'm very open for the people, so it's not me. I'm I'm just discussing whatever people are bringing up. So now we're discussing what you're bringing up. Some people might say, "Well, you're not talking about anything important." So I would like to hear, Demi, what should we talk about? Go ahead, Demi, and what's important to you, dear? Well, I'm saying, you know, like when people have questions or say certain, you know, comments about you know, Donald Trump and things like that, I feel mm-hmm. that you, in a way, brush people off. You know, really? they have logical points or logical views, things that make sense. You know, I feel that it's not, um, they're not able to be fully heard as far as like some of the things like, you know, the economy, crime, you know, migrants, you know, I'm in Arizona and homeless, you know, crime, it's really bad. And I live in a rural area. And you Mm -hmm. would think that it would make its way, you know, where I am, you know, from coming from the city. And it's it's really bad. And I feel that, you know, Kamala, she sucks. Biden sucked. And the only person that's ever did anything for us was Donald Trump. And I feel like people are just so blinded by the fact that he does not hold his tongue and he's going to say it how it is. You know, he's been portrayed as this racist and homophobic person and you know certain other things that I just feel is not fair and I feel a lot of black people are on your space and I feel like our heads are people are so distracted and I feel like the most important thing right now is honestly the election and if we're going to have a future you know who gives a damn about Diddy who gives a damn you know whatever but I feel like when certain people are saying you know they're talking about real issues. It's as if it's brushed past or they're cut off or, you know, sat down and they're not able to finish what it is they want to say. I don't think that's Facebook. fair. Hold on. Because uh, 
when I first came on, I've been on for what about an hour or so. The first thing I talked about was Kamala, and I talked about the polling, and I talked about I talked about just what you're talking about. Talked about how Trump is actually winning in some of the battlegrounds. So, ma'am, the accusatory got to make an assessment of what's been talked about before you came in the room, because yeah, I don't even I, I want to know where that accusatory thing came in from. That's coming from you, because that's something else there too. What are the issues that you do you have with us and me? What are the issues you have? Because I think there's something else going on there for you to even be that accusatory and passive aggressive. Where, where's your family from, dear? We're from Texas, Dallas. And um, I don't, I'm not being accusatory or um, coming on harsh, I guess you could say, or being, um, I don't want to say assertive or uh, rude, I guess you could say. Uh, there was a gentleman on um, maybe three spots ago. Um, he was just talking about, you know, pretty much Donald Trump and just, you know, the migrants and, you know, uh, reparations. And I feel that the main problem or what it should be is that no one is getting anything because of Kamala. No one is getting anything because of the Democrats. And I, right. feel, you know, but I feel as if he was brushed off. You know, he was trying to say certain things and it was as if that don't matter. You know, the it's it's about reparations. And I mean, I, I get where you guys are coming from. You know, um, your backstory about your family, you know, you deserve those reparations. Now, if someone is in the same boat as you, you have your proof, you have, you know, whatever it is that you need. OK, that's fine. That's understandable. You know, but as far as being owed something that you're not um entitled to, um, I think that should be more expressed. You know, there's a lot of people that feel like they're owed something and you're not, you know, like, who? like no, who? I'm just saying in general, just black people in general, you know, our generation is really bad right now. That's from youth, you know, or excuse me, young kids, you know, youth, you know, even adults, you know, I'm, I'm 31 and even people my age, you know, people are just so disrespectful Maybe. and just... Um, slow, slow down, slow down, Demi. Demi, where's your family from? Because you said they're from Texas. Dallas, yes, Texas, Dallas, Texas. You don't have a Texas accent. I've been in Arizona for a while since I was uh, sixteen. I get that a lot, and that's another thing. When I go home, you sound so white. You sound so country. I hear it a lot. Not about sounding white. There's a distinct accent that people in Texas have. Even doctors and lawyers. I was born there. Right. Where is your family from? Texas. I'm a black American. As far as my ancestors, things like that, I do yeah. not know. As far yeah. as my grandmother, my mom, we were born in Texas. That's where I'm from. Down in Texas. Where is he from? Say that one more time. I'm sorry. He broke up. Dad, your dad's parents, where are they from? I don't know my dad. Okay, okay. And your mom, so you're raised by your mom, who's from Dallas, who's from Texas. Correct, but I was adopted. My mom was a drug addict, or excuse me, addict. That was getting somewhere. Okay, your, your biological mother was a drug addict. Correct. Okay, so your... But I knew her. You know, you we intermingled, but I was adopted. Okay. Uh, was Were you adopted by relatives or by just yes, a whole... Yes, relatives. relatives. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, because that's kind of an FBA thing when when uh, we don't really let our children go for adoption. Now, any immigrants in your family on your mom's side? No. Okay. Now, what made you... Um, become a staunch right winger. Right winger. Yeah. Is that just the term for someone who loves their country? No, I mean you are you are you. Your page says you're a proud Republican, which is nothing Correct. wrong with. Correct, but the term you would have said, you know, what made you become a proud Republican, not right winger. But that's what I mean, Tariq. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. You know, I 
came up, you know, like I said, I've been in your spaces a lot. I've been watching you, you know, hearing you, you know, things that people say. And I take my time now to speak up. Oh, no. Okay. Why are you deflecting? Okay. You, you trying to I split I don't deflect. Here. I'm just saying. It's just your comments. Okay. Yeah. The comments is what you have on your page. Republican right winger is the same thing. So why are you offended by that or pretending it's to be? It's the way you said it. It's not being offensive. It's just yeah. your, your comments. And again. Right winger. <laughs> right winger and Republican is the but same But it's adding thing. up to that. It's adding up to that. You know, your snarky, smart comments. Okay. Only ask or called in and I asked a simple question. Uh, about what you have on your own page, why are you being defensive about it? That's what I'm saying. Is something else going on there? Is you way too defensive unnecessarily? There's something else going on there. There's something else going on there with you, Demi. Demi, you married, dear? I am not. You have a white boyfriend, don't you? I don't. You don't? Did you I have don't. one? Did you have one? I've dibbled and dabbled. Right. Okay. Okay, that's where this is coming from. Because usually with this kind of passive aggressiveness, it comes from two types of people. It's not being passive aggressive, aggressive Tariq. I'm just... I feel when people talk about certain things, you know, you push them down or I don't want to say push down. Oh, yeah, because you just, you know, knock them down out of the no. room. Yes, no, sometimes you. No, 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 ma'am. When people are accusatory like you're being and being passive aggressive about what you're being accusatory about, it's two types of people. A tether and a bed winch. And that's what I think you have an issue with. Because you know that I go in on bed winches and you've laid up with zaddies. So I think that's... What Only because I asked or said that I feel that there should be um, more important... Or when someone is talking about something important, you should allow them to finish their uh, statement. You know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It just depends. But and, um, I think the gentleman three spaces ago was okay slow down how many people are in this room right now dear if you look at the numbers how many people are in here can you see the numbers can you see the numbers dear demi look at all the people in here you see the numbers dear miss demi yes sorry many... i kept muting but it's 1.2k and you are live right and I'll like I said, I know you if they're not, you know, talking. Listen, dear, I do this every night. I'm on in the middle of the night and there's 12, 1300 people in here. Sometimes we get up to 2000 people in the middle of the night. When I'm on in the daytime, we get four or 5000 people, ma'am. OK. There's a lot of people listening. I'm doing something right to have all of these people listening in the middle of the night. I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, you don't have too many followers, dear. You don't have too many followers on your page, Demi. You don't even have a thousand people following you, dear. You, okay, well, let's cut, let's, let's talk turkey here. You don't even have a thousand people following you on your page. So, ma'am, you can't tell me somebody who's tried and true, tried and proven, somebody who can galvanize large audiences, especially here in the middle of the night, in person, wherever. I kind of know how to keep the flow of conversations going. That's going to be interesting. Okay. So before you kind of criticize and give your advice, you better have something to back that up. You don't have anything to back that up, ma'am. You don't have a platform in order to get people to listen to what you have to say. You don't have people following you to hear what you have to say. So you're not at liberty to give somebody who's a legend in the game. You don't have the, the liberty to kind of wag your finger and give advice, ma'am. You need to be listening, dear. That's what you need to be doing. You need to be listening. And also, again, I think that there's some bedwinchery going on, and I think that's the issue going with going on with you, ma'am. I think that um, you've probably heard some of my views on bedwinches, and I think you're probably taking offense to that, and you're using all of this passive aggressiveness to kind of get that one off, 
Okay. But Demi, you need to listen. Okay. You hear Demi? Unmute your microphone, ma'am. Yes, I can hear you. And I've been listening. That one I didn't hear about, about the bail winching. Like I said, you know, I popped in on a couple of spaces and I've heard you talk about Trump, Kamala, you know, reparations. Um, and so you, are you for, are you, so are you against reparations, Demi? Let me just ask. No, I'm not. I'm not. And I feel like how, you know, they did you guys, um, that was wrong. But again, that was the Democrats. And I just feel like there's no blame for, you know, them and what they're doing. Now, you keep saying how they did you guys. What do you mean? Who are, who are you guys? Who are you guys? I just want to be clear on what you're saying. You keep saying how they did you guys, like other than you. So who are you guys, Demi? I'm not asking for reparations. You know, you? I'm struggling. I'm going through things. But in 2016 to 2020, I had a job. You know, I was living comfortably. I could pay my bills. Who are you guys, Demi? I'm asking you a question. Who are you guys? Those that want reparations. I don't okay. want reparations. I know okay. that I'm black. But what I do want is a good paying job and to be able to, you know, live comfortably and not have crime and homeless and migrants every damn where. Like, it's scary. I'm a tiny girl. So you don't want reparations for that's old? Hmm? You don't you want broke up. I can't hear you. So you don't want reparations. So let me be You don't want reparations that's old because of. Sorry, you're breaking up. I just heard you You want reparations or something like that. Anyway. Okay. You wouldn't want reparations that's owed to you for what happened to your family. You wouldn't want that? No, because I didn't go through it. Yeah, I don't believe that you're from a bitch, ma'am. I don't think nobody would disrespect their, their ancestors like that. I don't think that you're from a foundational Black American lineage, ma'am. For anybody. Why? Because I want to work for the things that I want. It's the never. Like if I'm not old, like I'm not old reparation. Slow down, slow down. Everybody who's listening has to work for what they want. What are you talking about? Everybody has to work for what they want. But if somebody owes, they need to pay what they owe. We all have to work. Everybody who's in this room works. Everybody's working. All of us. I'm working. We all work. We have to earn our living. That is inevitable. That doesn't negate the fact that we are owed something. The fact that you are so dismissive to what's owed based on our ancestry, I don't feel that you come from our lineage because it's too flippant and too disrespectful. We don't disrespect our ancestors like that. To say, I don't want nothing, that's something that a tether would say. Understand? No, if it's your parents or your grandparents or great grandparents, they should get what they are owed. Ma'am, you not, are not you. Ma'am, you are a tether. You're not being honest about your background. That's tether talk. You keep saying you guys, you guys in reparations because you're not qualified to get reparations, ma'am. You're talking about you don't want it. You're not qualified to get it in. You're just not being honest about it because you haven't really been that honest about your narratives and your arguments. This is what we're saying. This is why we have to check people's paperwork. We because have to... I don't deserve it. No, because you, you're not qualified for it, ma'am. Sorry, my mic keeps muting. I don't know why, Tariq, but no, because I don't deserve it. Now, you're right. Your great grandparents, you know, your mom, your dad, you know. Because you're deserve... not because you don't come from our lineage, ma'am. You don't come from our lineage. You're not qualified for reparations, ma'am. That's what that is. And you're just not being honest about it. Why are you not being honest about that, ma'am? You're not qualified for reparations. Right? I, I, want you, I want you to admit that while you're here. Don't sit here and be the stereotypical lying tether. 
Just admit that you're not qualified to get reparations. That's all you can say, Tariq. I'm not going to argue, like I said before. I, it's because I don't deserve it. All I said was, if some, if people are talking about real issues, I... You are not qualified for reparations because you don't come from our lineage, ma'am. And you're not being honest about that. Demi. You're not being honest, Demi, and I want you to be honest on here. See, that's the problem. We get a lot of people who are non-FBA who come up here faking the funk, lying and scamming, and that's an issue. You're not from our lineage, ma'am. It's everything, just your whole mannerisms and how you're talking. You ain't from our lineage. People from our lineage don't talk like that. Yeah? And all of the dishonesty and the bad faith arguments, you're not from our lineage, ma'am, and we can tell. You understand? And you're saying you were adopted here. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. I'm not going to argue, Tariq, like you said. If you have your opinion, I have mine. That's all I was calling in to say. You uh, drop me back down. I'll keep listening. You know, you can say how you feel. And Not about how? That. I, I feel like I don't deserve reparations. Now, because you That's just, it is what it is. Because Those that feel like they deserve it, okay? You're doing what you, you... You are not qualified for it, Demi. You're not because qualified. Because I don't deserve it. Because you're a tether, sweetie. You're a tether, beloved. You keep saying you deserve it. Yeah, you're right. You don't deserve it because you're not All a All I said was, when the guy was talking about immigrants, I feel he should have been heard out. Hold on. Hold on That's dude. all I'm saying. Get my foundational black American brother, EJ, in here. EJ, hop on, sir. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good, EJ. How are you, EJ? I'm doing good, man. I'm catching a headache listening to this lady. I don't know where she's from, but, you know, uh, we don't talk like that. Even our crews know better than to come up in these spaces and be talking about we don't deserve reparations for foundational black Americans. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you come from, ma'am, but even if I you was... I, uh, I don't deserve it. That's I'm just I saying, that's, that's your... Okay. Ma'am, can you stop talking? I'm not trying to argue with you, ma'am. You don't have to. This, I'm not arguing. Can you mute her mic for a minute, Tyreek? Because I'm trying to talk. I ain't interrupted. Thank you, brother. Thank you. This just goes to show you that all skin folk ain't kin folks. He got her opinion about reparations, and 99.9% .9 of us in this um space already know that it's a debt that's old. I don't know where you come from or where your background is from, man. But even if you if even if you wasn't um FBA, and even if you wasn't you know from our lineage. Ain't nobody gonna turn down no money that's owed to them. Just like me giving you money and I'm coming up to you and you acting like, hey, I don't owe you anything. No, it's a debt that's owed to our people. And I really don't know where your background is from because you said earlier that you dibbled and dabbled with the mayonnaise. But you know, if you wanted to dibble and dabble with the mayonnaise, this is probably some of the side effects of where it comes out to people just dibbling and dabbling with people from the dominant society because they come with these asinine talking points in these spaces all the time so you know family i just want y'all to listen to people like this who say that we don't deserve everything this is why we're fighting to get everything that that's owed to us within the united states of america and you don't even hear tethers talking about you know caricom and what's going on with their situations with their reparations you don't really hear a lot of them talk about that you hear these people talk about what we need and what we don't need to get with our reparations claims you don't never hear a lot of these tethers and a lot of these undercover so-called FBAs talk about what we need to get and what we don't need to get. You don't hear none of these people talk about what's going on in their countries with their reparations claims. So I'm going to just land my plane because I don't want to smell mayonnaise anymore. But uh, thank you, Tyreek, for uh, having the space. Salute to you, player. You can drop me back down. Thank you, brother. All right, Demi. Any last words, Demi? All I'm saying is what he just said, okay, if someone said, you know, or feel you're owed something. I'm not gonna turn down no money. Like, okay. But I'm saying, I'm not gonna go and say like, I'm owed this or owed that. Everyone feels how they feel. But I'm saying, if you guys are gonna put the blame on someone, put it on the Democrats. That's all I'm saying. Trump, I feel. Of it, we're, we're, it's the federal government. Say that again, sorry. Government. 
All I'm saying is we just need to vote, and Trump is the right way. All right. All right, Demi, and and you should go to CARICOM or whoever owes your people reparations and go holler at them, Demi, okay? Right, Demi? Yes, thank you for letting me talk to you. Thank you. We got to watch Undercover Tethers, man. That woman is a damn tether. See, we got to watch that. Yeah, I felt tether vibes immediately with her. That's an undercover tether. We got to watch that. That's why she kept, it, it kept slipping out. Well, you, y'all get y'all reparations. She kept othering us. The whole conversation kept othering us. And these folks try to be slick and they don't want to admit that they're tethers. So we got to watch that, man. Look what, feel that natural flow. Look what. Stay fresh wherever you go Rude work I like the way it feels Rude work The magic is so real Rude work You need it for work or play Rude work Keeps me fresh throughout the day